was cold water on Dean's last hope to impeach Trump. FBI Director Christopher Wray said on Thursday he has not detected any whiff of interference by the White House into the ongoing investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. This kills the liberals' attempt to impeach Trump yet again. This was the first time that FBI Director Christopher Wray gave a public address after being confirmed as the head of the FBI, where he said he is confident in Robert Mueller, you know, the guy who is one a witch hunt in an investigation based on a lie. Advertisement, I can say very confidently that I have not detected any whiff of interference with that investigation, Wray said during a panel discussion at the Intelligence and National Security Summit in Washington. Ray got the job after Comey was fired. We all know that Comey should have been arrested for illegally sharing information with the fake news organization called the New York Times. He was another one trying to impeach Trump from the onset of the Trump administration. He also was supposed to call out the Trump White House for interfering in the Russian investigation, but Trump mentioned something about tapes and then Comey told the truth saying that he did affirm Trump on three separate occasions that he wasn't under investigation. Advertisement, the White House has been forward saying that Trump didn't collude with Russia. The dossier was false, Comey failed, and Mueller keeps calling witnesses but can't find anything. Ray may kill the investigation once and for all. Ray also reiterated his confidence in a January report compiled by U.S. intelligence agencies which concluded that Russia had interfered in the 2016 election and tried to tilt it in Trump's favor, a finding Trump has often questioned. The lie from the left was that the intelligence agencies numbered near 17, turns out there were only three and they are all part of the same intelligence agency, the NSA. What do you think about that? Lou Dobbs rips Paul Ryan calls him hapless fool after Trump outnegotiated him. Lou Dobbs is a favorite with conservatives for a reason, he tells it like it is and pulls no punches. His most recent target was House Speaker Paul Ryan, who lost out in a power struggle with President Trump over the debt ceiling. Now Huffington Post is reporting on an extended rant in which Dobbs absolutely crushes the Wisconsin congressman. Advertisement, President Trump made the debt ceiling deal with Democrats to help the American people get the aid they need after Hurricane Harvey and ensure the government keeps being funded. Paul Ryan said the deal was ridiculous. Well. Guess who looks ridiculous now? Dobbs celebrated Ryan's embarrassment on his show Wednesday, referring to it as the death of a rhino and saying that Trump took Rhino Ryan to the woodshed but eliminated any need for any Republican to ever pretend again that Ryan is a real Republican in any way. Advertisement, according to Dobbs this isn't only about Ryan, it's about all establishment phonies. He said no rhino will ever again be imagined to have any political future now that Mr. Trump simply booted the hapless fool of a speaker out of the way of those trying to get the nation's business done. Ouch. Watch, do you agree with Lou Dobbs or do you sympathize with Paul Ryan? Hollywood liberal stunts deems with amazing announcement about Ben Carson. Steve Harvey isn't a frequent doormat for the leftists' lunatics in Hollywood. He won't bend to the will or the pop culture just because he is receiving backlash. Can you imagine how much backlash a Hollywood star would get if he supported Ben Carson? Well, Steve Harvey is facing that kind of backlash. He has decided helping the Trump administration in its housing and urban development efforts would be good for the African American community despite opposition from his own subordinates. Advertisement, Harvey gave an interview to The Hollywood Reporter, Harvey disclosed that he has actually met with the HUD secretary Dr. Ben Carson. They discussed reusing closed urban schools into vision centers to teach children STEM subjects and computer programming. Steve Harvey said he had offered his help to Donald Trump when he met with him at Trump Tower in January. Harvey said that he confessed to the president-elect that he voted for Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential election. He then revealed, a few minutes later, he had Ben Carson on the phone. Harvey went ahead and kept his promise to assist Trump even though he has received massive backlash from within his own community. Harvey added that his wife suggested he should reschedule that meeting since he was supposed to be on a boat for his 60th birthday. God, I should have listened he said.
This is the best news you can hear from Hollywood. When a Hollywood liberal wises up and tries to help the conservatives in a positive way, it makes way for great things to happen. Harvey and Carson would be a great team for the black community in urban American. The black community is suffering and the more mass immigration we have, the worse off they are. What do you think of Harvey supporting Trump and Ben Carson? Jeb Bush breaks silence with jaw-dropping praise for President Trump. Former Florida governor and huge Trump critic Jeb Bush went on CNN this morning and did the unthinkable. He actually praised President Donald Trump. Advertisement. Shocker. My jaw literally hit the floor when I saw it. Never expected it. Maybe the guy is finally coming to his senses. According to CNN Bush said. President Trump has done a good job keeping, showing his concern for the victims of Harvey and I'm sure he'll do the same for Irma. The key, though, is to make sure Washington's here for the long haul, for the long-term recovery of our state. Bush dealt with the catastrophic storms of 2004 and 2005 as Gov. That saw eight hurricanes and four tropical storms slam into Florida. Advertisement he did a good job and was roundly praised for leadership and then tried to use that as a main selling point to get the Republican nomination in 2016. Until he was called low energy Jeb by Trump. And more than lived up to the name. Bush who has decided to shelter in place for Irma in his hometown of Coral Gables, Florida has been all over social media tweeting out information. Why shelter in place? I am proud of how the local and state officials have prepared for this, he told Chris Cuomo. We've always learned from the lessons of the past. Bush added officials have hundreds of things to consider after the storm passes. For example, are all the generators in place for maintaining the water systems of every municipality that's going to hit by this? Can we get chlorine? To make sure the water supply is safe when there's no power? All of these things we've learned through trial and error. Bush was even somewhat positive about Trump's decision to make a deal with the Democrats. If it's based on trying to create a better bipartisan kind of culture in Washington, all power to him. If it's a short-term thing just to kind of have a win, I'm not sure that's going to be a long-term, positive benefit. The key right now is to make sure the fiscal solvency of the country remains in place and that there's money available for the recovery of these devastating storms that have hit Texas and Florida. President Trump discovers new way to humiliate Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell. President Trump does not suffer fools. He knows exactly what he is doing. The establishment GOP may be upset with him for making another great deal for the American people and that is just what Trump wants. Look he came in to be a uniter not a divider. He won with a lot of crossover votes. He won the Rust Belt with a specific message, America first. Advertisement, it brought people together because it was the right message. The GOP establishment told Trump they have all the votes he will ever need. They told Trump to do health care first and that it was a layup. They were wrong and imperiled Trump's agenda. They are not to be trusted. Advertisement, it was a big defeat for the establishment GOP and Trump did what any good deal maker would do, find someone who can get the damn job done. And you can tell he is having a lot of fun because just double down on taking Ryan and Mitch to task for their blunders. Isn't it fun good to watch Trump kick this womp's ass? According to Fox News, President Trump ripped congressional Republicans Friday today after they whined about his deal with the Democrats. Republicans, sorry, but I've been hearing about repeal and replace for seven years, didn't happen. Even worse, the Senate filibuster rule will never allow the Republicans to pass even great legislation. Eight teams control, will rarely get 60, versus 51, votes. It is a Repub death wish. He tweeted. Then he gave them a warning and because he just made a deal with the Deems Paul Ryan better take him deadly serious or he will be left out in the cold again. Republicans must start the tax reform, tax cut legislation ASAP. Don't wait until the end of September. Needed now more than ever. Hurry. He tweeted.